Subquake is a dedicated low frequency generator for adding extreme bottom end in sound design, music, or post production. You feed it any signal and it generates entirely new low end, fitted around the loudness envelope of your input. It doesn't pitch shift or track formants. It's as if your input is driving an envelope over some very heavy signal generators. There are five modules in Subquake, and the signal basically flows from top to bottom. The input module provides control and visualization of the input signal and the sidechain signal, which will feed into the rest of the plugin. You can sculpt this signal in various ways to affect the way the rest of the plugin responds using the high and low pass filters and gate. The darker waveform represents the raw, unfiltered input signal, that which you've sent to the plugin. The brighter waveform represents the input signal after filtering and gating. The orange markers show any trigger events where relevant. The filters and gate are pretty self-explanatory and use fixed slope and gate settings designed to surgically isolate the part of the signal you wish to follow. The trigger threshold controls the input level necessary to trigger the pitch or one-shot envelopes to play back their shapes. Trigger minimum time sets a minimum time value within which a new trigger may not be fired. This is useful for situations where the initial event should trigger the envelopes, but it is closely followed by other very loud events. E.g. thunderclaps or double kicks. If you wish to hear the effect of the filters and gate on your input signal, a listen button is offered. When auditioning presets from the library, it's quite likely that you won't want your input module settings to change, as these are usually chosen specifically for the signal that you're working with. Use the lock button to put all input module parameters into lock mode, which stops them from changing when a preset is called up, or lock just one parameter by double-clicking its knob or using the pop-up control panel. Note that they will still respond to automation or manual changes. The noise module is a generator, or source, which creates a pseudo-random noise signal, filtered to produce constantly varying bottom end, devoid of any distinct tonal note. The filters allow sculpting of the signal before it reaches the output stage. 12, 24, and 36 dB slopes are offered, and the two filters can be moved together using Shift or Command Shift to easily find the best sounding range. The noise band is capable of generating multi-channel noise signals by feeding completely independent, decorrelated signal to each output channel of the plugin. This is useful in a stereo instance where you wish to add some width to an explosion or a snare drum. If, however, you prefer to keep the image centered, the mono mode button is offered. The tone modules generate a tone at a specific frequency or note value using one of the standard oscillator shapes. The two tone bands can be set to intermodulate, creating some interesting throbbing and shuddering effects. The two tone bands can have their fundamental pitches moved together using the shift modifier. This will shift them in a relative way, such that intermodulations are maintained. Toggle between hertz and musical notes using the buttons at the top of the UI.
When entering a note value like C sharp, Subquake will jump to the C sharp nearest to the current value. The pitch bend envelopes allow you to warp the tones generated around their fundamental frequency. You can change the shape of each stage using command click or by changing it in the little pop-up control panel. This pitch bend envelope is triggered whenever the trigger threshold is met. The output module is where the sources are shaped to match the input signal. The waveform displayed in this module represents the wet signal post the wet gain control. The dry signal is not represented in this display at all. The envelope controls how the sources are shaped with respect to the input signal. There are two modes, one shot and continuous follower. In one shot mode, the envelope is triggered whenever the trigger threshold is met. In continuous follower mode, the shape of the input signal is followed, with the user-specified envelope simply modifying this shape. In this mode, you should think of the attack and release more like rise and fall on a VU level meter. They really are quite distinct approaches, so may sound different in different scenarios. There are four parameters to the envelope. Delay is basically an offset, such that the envelope plays late, allowing you to carve a hole for the dry impact, or create a reactive shudder after some big event. Attack softens the front of any loud incoming event. Hold will maintain the loudest value for a time. Release is the fall time. The output module offers high and low pass filters identical to the noise module. So keep that in mind in case you're filtering out noise signal that you thought you were keeping. Film mixers may want to always set this low pass to 100 or 120 Hz to comply with LFE spec. Note that due to the design of the output envelope and limiter, applying filtering here will often result in more perceived output level. If you want to modulate the entire output signal, the tremolo feature can be used. Rate and percentage amount are offered with amount ranging from 0 to 200%. After all that, an overdrive circuit is employed, which adds harmonics in the frequencies just above those being generated. With low LPF settings, it may be quite subtle. The final processing step is a gain compensated output limiter, which serves to catch any overs and also offers plus 18 dB of gain at its maximum setting. So for already loud signals, it may not actually increase perceived level by the full 18 dB, instead serving to raise decay tails. Subquake offers independent wet and dry gain controls. This gives you full control of the balance, no matter if you're inserting on a drum track or using it as an effect return in a final mix. Like pretty much every other parameter, these can be put into preset lock mode. Determinism modes. Subquake is designed to sound the same every time you hit play. For post-production mixes, it's important that the rumble you hear while mixing is the same as the one you hear when you print a pass. The phase button puts Subquake into electronic music mode, where every time a trigger is fired, 
you'll get the same result. In the other mode, you can trust that the same piece of timeline will produce the same rumble each time you play over it. So this is basically the film TV mode, but might also be good for acoustic drums where you want a bit of natural variation. Subquake offers all of the most commonly used channel formats from mono to 916 as long as input format is the same as output format. You also have multi-channel to mono variants. For surround formats with a 0.1 channel, the wet signal will be sent to the LFE only. In all other formats, it is sent to every channel. 